Food likely putting a pinch on your Easter plans. Good afternoon. I'm Samantha Jones. Corey Stark is off tonight with many people set to gather with friends and family this holiday weekend. Easter brunch is being welcomed back by a lot of restaurants around town. But as News Force Caroline Hecker found out today, some restaurants and businesses are being forced to raise their prices. She's live in Wentzville tonight at Brett Hull's Junction House. Caroline. Well, Sam, management here says they already have 450 people on the books for Sunday, and they are planning for many more. A lack of customers, not a problem, really, for any of the businesses we spoke to. However, keeping their prices stable and low is becoming increasingly difficult. How can I help you today? Last minute Easter sweet treats means a flurry of customers for Sugar and Slice Bakery in St. Charles. Purple with sprinkles? Okay. Everything from cookies to cakes to pie. Pre-orders have been flooding the shop for weeks. Usually they'll buy like a cake or, you know, a pie, and then they have a lot of these little odds and ends that are nice little basket stuffers. But to make all of her Easter goodies requires ingredients that these days are not only in short supply, she says, but expensive. I'm trying my best not to raise prices, but there's only so far you can go without handing that down to your customer because it's just um, a lot. I mean, when things are doubling and going up 10, 15 percent every week. At Brett Hull's Junction House, this year will be a first for an Easter buffet. A choice customers made an easy one. They were calling us, asking us what we were doing before we even knew which path we were going to go down. So we decided to go with a brunch. The buffet will run all day with reservations still available Sunday afternoon. This year, since everybody's more comfortable going out, we decided that we should try something. Now, if you're hoping to eat outside, you're not in luck. The patios here open next Thursday, but that's okay because the weather looks kind of chilly this weekend. Now, coming up at 6, we also spoke with a catering company who knows all too well about the rising food costs. They'll also talk about how staffing shortages are affecting their brunch, where, Sam, they're expecting about 1,000 people. We're live in Wentzville tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4. All right, Caroline, thank you. And a reminder, a lot of grocery.